is up guys happy nonfiction November I'm gonna open up a bunch of historical films but before I do that I want to give a shout out to Foxtail Cinematics he does awesome narrative videos and he also does some blu-ray unboxing videos as well but I'm gonna put a link down below to his channel he should get way more views and I hope other people who make videos give him a shout out as well because we need to get more views on his channel I'm gonna put a link down below about um, history of Native Americans in film. Awesome stuff. He did it for Indigenous Peoples Day, so I really want to get this guy more views, so please give him a shout out, click on his link down below, and subscribe to him. I'm gonna make you guys listen to what books I'm reading this nonfiction November. First one I'm gonna try and read is On Hitler's Mountain, Overcoming the Legacy of a Nazi Childhood by Imgard A. Hunt. This is a memoir. I love memoirs. Probably my favorite genre of books. And Looks interesting. There, there's a lot of photographs in here, and apparently this child. Oh my gosh! Apparently this child lived close to Hitler, closer than I'm thinking. So, looks like an interesting memoir. If I finish on Hitler's Mountain this November, I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is reread a book. And this one is Blood and Thunder: The Epic Story of Kit Carson and the Conquest of the American West by Hampton Sides. Read it over ten years ago. And it is just so well written, such a fascinating story. And I'm not going to read the whole book, I'm just going to start at book three. Which is the story of, basically, Kit Carson and his war with the Apache and Navajo, leading to the Long Walk and the Bosque Redondo disaster. Kind of cementing his legacy, and very controversial figure because of it, but... Cannot recommend this book enough. Blood and Thunder by Hampton Sides. Saving Private Ryan. One of the greatest historical films of all time. I saw this movie more than any movie in theaters. I think I saw it ten times. I'll have to see if I could scrounge around, pick up some dust, and because I know I saved the tickets, and I have the original movie poster actually for this. So this is very similar to the DVD release and the Blu-ray release. So let's see if it's the same. It's, this is more of a matted finish, I guess, than the Blu-ray. Can't wait to see this on 4K. Just one of the greatest opening scenes in movie history. Just a nightmare and a complete disaster. But he, you know, Spielberg was able to put it on film. And one of those films that, you know, is known for not winning Best Picture that year. Steven Spielberg did not win Best Picture for Saving Private Ryan. It went to Shakespeare in Love. There's a great YouTube video about it if you ever want to look it up about how that all happened and the politics behind it. Anyways, awesome inside stuff, pictures of characters in the film. And two years later, in 2000, Tom Hanks and Spielberg came out with Band of Brothers. And I do like this movie. It is one of my favorites, but Band of Brothers a little bit better just because it was based on a true story the whole way through. This wasn't a fictionalized account of World War II, but I mean the realism in this film is just undeniable. Just an awesome classic film. 1917. This is an upgrade from Blu-ray. Best film of 2019 for me. Last movie I saw in theaters before the pandemic hit. So this is directed by Sam Mendes, who directed American Beauty, one of my favorite movies of all time in 2000, and he always surprises with whatever movie he comes out with. And thanks to Durant Cinema, he gave me a heads up about this with his video, all the steelbooks going on. This was unavailable for a long time and I finally was able to get it, so there are the discs right there. Awesome inside artwork here. I should probably know the actors' names, but I don't. There's like two main actors in this. And just continuous shot, beautiful film. Can't wait to see this on 4K. Slight dent on the top there, if you could see it. But that's okay, not gonna freak out. <laughs> Apollo 13 from 1995. Ultra 4K Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive. Awesome. Looks like a glossy finish on here. And this is the film that is usually ranked as the most accurate historical film ever made. And uh, just the way Ron Howard directed it is pretty amazing back in 1995. And they basically had to go into an airplane and nosedive to get that feeling of non-gravity and the floating around and stuff like that, which is hard to imagine filming that way, but 
that's what they did. And Jim Level over there is Tom Hanks. Houston, we have a problem. Another great film from 1995, Braveheart, starring Mel Gibson. Now this one, you know, I know it's not fiction November, but compared to Apollo 13 and other films, uh, is not very accurate, historically speaking. Love this film. Just an awesome film. And... I think, at, still, you know, I don't know how it's aged. I've, I've seen it before. It's been a few years, but we'll see how it aged. Pretty basic disc there. I think it's aged okay. I mean, Apollo 13 is definitely aged better than Braveheart. But they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Awesome, bloody, gruesome, you know, Mel Gibson film, as usual. Gladiator, Russell Crowe, classic, big Hollywood film. And it won the Best Picture in 2000, and rightfully so. Just an excellent film, and made Russell Crowe a household name. And a nice glossy finish on this. Haven't been shown the J card. There's a J card. Going up to the arena there. See how this one looks, too, how it's aged. Uh, I, th I hope it looks good and nice and sleek and 4K. Wow, awesome inside artwork. Have the tiger right there inside the arena fighting for their lives. Joaquin Phoenix does an amazing job. Just an awesome film. Apocalypse Now box set. This was going for $10 on the last Black Friday and I totally missed it. So I waited patiently. Bought it for $12.99 on Amazon. Thought that was a good deal. And have not seen this film in a long time. And I plan on seeing it again. This one has... Unlike the Blu-ray, the final cut, there's so many cuts of this film, it's like the uh, Star Wars trilogy. Just a lot of changes and stuff to it, but I don't think they dug into it like the original Star Wars trilogy, but this J card is crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. Alright, J card right there. Nice. Wow, there's six discs right there. Awesome. I mean, I don't know how much <laughs> this I'm going to watch. I definitely want to watch the final cut. So they have the four cut and the Blu-ray looks like. No, there's two 4Ks here. Uh, and then some special features and stuff like that. There's the inside artwork right there. Sorry for the glare, but looks like they're out on their PT boats out in the various rivers in Vietnam. And I haven't seen this film in a while, and because there's a part that I just find disturbing, and I, I can't remember exactly, but it's actually a real bull or calf being butchered and killed, and it's on film, and that kind of stuff just is, is worse to me than any Friday the 13th film by far. So, But I definitely will watch this classic Vietnam War film, Apocalypse Now. And her back to the ancient times. Charlton Heston, just a classic film. This is the 50th anniversary edition. Bought this at Best Buy for $8.99, something like that. So, have not seen this film since I was forced to watch it in my freshman year in high school or middle school. I can't remember. But I remember thinking it was slow and boring, but that was a long time ago, so I can't wait to watch it. Seeing parts of it, it looks interesting. The Chariot Race is just awesome. I've seen that before on AMC, and it is great filmmaking, so can't wait to watch this. Also picked up this, used for a good price. Ben-Hur, the remake, I guess. I'll definitely check it out, but I definitely want to check out the classic before I take a look at this one. Hopefully the Chariot Race is as awesome as the original. Apocalypto by Mel Gibson. I think it's a great film. It has the language, just visually stunning, brutally violent, as always with Mel Gibson films. And this film has been criticized heavily. I mean, it's historically inaccurate. You know, a lot of Hollywood films are, but I think it is a well-made film. And the out-of-print version Blu-ray I heard recently is still going for a lot because of the artwork. It's kind of the same image, but there's just like silver on it, and people are still buying it. I don't think there's anything extra in it either, but teach their own, I guess. No inside artwork, but great artwork on the disc. This is definitely on the non-fiction November list, Apocalypto by Mel Gibson.
This was a DVD upgrade, very cheap. I think it was $4.99 at Best Buy, The Patriot, starring Mel Gibson. Haven't seen this movie in a long, long time. And there are not a lot of really good Revolutionary War films, and they tried their best with this one to make it action-packed. Some of it's a little corny, Heath Ledger's in it. If you don't remember, one of Mel Gibson's sons. Last scene there. Last battle, I mean, it is a very good film, I think, and I haven't seen it in a long time, like I said, so it's definitely going to go on the list to watch for Nonfiction November. Downfall. I've been looking for this film for a long time. Finally found one, and it is a European copy, but it does say that it is A, B, and C. I guess it's a Universal Play Blu-ray. And, of course, there's that famous meme from the film, but it's in German, and it looks like, you know, it's about the last days of Hitler in the bunker in Berlin. Bunch of films from the 60s era, starting with Nixon. Oliver Stone film came out after JFK. Very long film, and this is the extended director's cut, which is 28 minutes added. So I had to, of course, for a few dollars, pick up the original theatrical cut. For some reason, Oliver Stone does the same thing with JFK. Very hard to find the original theatrical cut of JFK. It's only available, as far as I know, in VHS. So this is good that Nixon at least has a theatrical cut. But I'll definitely watch this 28 minutes extra. It's already a three hour film. Very well made, I thought, and a very good depiction of, of Nixon. Anthony Hopkins does an awesome job as Nixon, and it goes back to his entire life, basically. So Another Oliver Stone film, and I think this is one of his best, if not the best film he ever made. Platoon with Charlie Sheen. One best picture, I believe. Back in maybe 1986, 1987, something like that. But for me, I think this film is the best depiction of a soldier on the ground in Vietnam. I remember thinking that this movie is better than Apocalypse Now, if there should be a comparison. I don't know. They're, they're very different films. So Glad I have this one. Um, it's an upgrade from DVD to Blu-ray. From Big Lots, Rescue Dawn, Blind Buy. Thought it looked interesting. I've heard good things about this film, so it's only a few bucks. Christian Bale, Steve Zahn. Maybe, I don't know if this is true, but about the Hanoi Hilton where John McCain was a POW for many years. Could be about that, I'm not sure. And good stuff. Another Vietnam War film that I haven't seen in a long time, and this is about the first major battle in Vietnam and it was a very linear battle not a guerrilla warfare type of battle that the Americans fought in and based on a true story pretty brutal stuff from what I remember so of course Mel Gibson's in it we were soldiers Malcolm X bought this for $5.99 in the Best Buy bin one of Spike Lee's best and Denzel Washington just does an excellent job as Malcolm X definitely a great film a long film as well starting with the life of Malcolm X as a young man. Read the book a long time ago. Very interesting perspective. You know, of course, can't agree with everything someone has to say, um, viewed as an extremist. And he changes, you know, he changes there. I don't want to give it away or anything. It's, it is a great film worth watching. Definitely want to check this out for Nonfiction November. It's been a long time, Malcolm X. Dark Waters, this is a recent story. And when I went to see it, I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be another Aaron Brockovich civil action type movie. And it blew me away. This movie absolutely blew me away, especially the ending. If you haven't seen it, I don't want to give it away, but wow. Great film. Definitely put it on the nonfiction November list at some point. All right, guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video. I am going to give away one digital copy of the Ultra 4K of 1917, Sam Mendes' awesome film from last year. Just be the first person down below to tell me the two main actors' real names in the film 1917.